New Day Northwest is sponsored by Premiera Blue Cross. Welcome back, everybody. Healthcare, of course, is complicated, expensive. The experience often isn't as great as we want it to be. Two local companies, Primera Blue Cross and MultiCare, are teaming up to help create a better healthcare experience all around. Please welcome from Primera Blue Cross Executive Vice President of Healthcare Services, Dr. John Espinola, along with Dr. David Carlson, Senior Vice President of Physician and Provider Enterprises at MultiCare. You guys have big titles and big responsibilities. Uh, what are some of the challenges you think are top of the list for patients? Well, we think actually everybody involved in healthcare could have a better experience. Yeah. Healthcare could just work a lot better in America than it does today. We see that our employer customers actually want more predictability in their health care costs, more affordability, so that they can spend money on the things that they want to invest in, including jobs and research and production. Right. We think uh, patients could have a much better experience. It could be more affordable and simpler. And of course, physicians, the people providing the health care, mm -hmm. need a better life day in and day out to be able to have an easier experience and focus on what matters for the patients they care about. I, uh, friends of mine who are physicians say that their biggest frustration is lots of paperwork, not enough time with their patients. Is that what you're hearing? From we hear that a lot. Right. So we can do something about that, you think? Dr. Carlson oversees a lot of physicians who, he, that is his charge. Take it away. How do we do something about this? Well, you know, so, so that's a whole conversation. Uh, around peak care, what we're really trying to do is to create um, a convenient platform for the patients mm -hmm. and to reduce kind of the background hassles for docs and, uh, and advanced practice providers. So most people wouldn't really recognize it, but when you see a patient um, and go through your history and physical and exam, often what comes of that is some kind of a test or evaluation or referral. And often there are lots of roadblocks um, that are put in place um, to really help make sure that it's appropriate, useful, and cost effective. Right. And so this process allows us to take a lot of those hassles away because we have a trusting partnership where we're all in it uh, for kind of the same purpose, to provide that great care for people and to do it in a way that we're mutually benefiting um, along with the patients. So how are you accomplishing that? Well, so uh, I would say the, the first thing that we're going to see is with the, the prior authorizations is something that happens for people. So if you want an MRI, right. your doctor goes through uh, this whole algorithm of things that they have to do to get it approved. And mm -hmm. we're going to reduce those burdens. Um, and that should be meaningful mm -hmm. in terms of how um, the doctors practice medicine over time. Mm -hmm. You know, Margaret, I think we have a really great opportunity, our two companies working together. We're on both sides of the healthcare equation, right. and we can really partner up to work better for the patient. Some of the ways we'll do that is sharing information so when the doctor shows up in the exam room, they know more about the needs of that patient. They have all of our data and all of MultiCare's right. data. So you're not and starting over not as a starting patient from a scratch. physician every time That's you, right. you come together. Um, so making things a little bit easier in terms of making appointments, for example, is something mm -hmm. I think patients would appreciate. So what are the, the possibilities for using our online experience a little more mm -hmm. frequently? Well, we think more and more patients are going to move in that direction of wanting it to be available on their terms, on their schedule, and in the moment that they need it. So we're going to work together to be able to create availability in real time mm -hmm. to make it convenient for people to get to their appointments. If they need an Uber ride or a Lyft ride, we'll That's provide awesome. that to make it easy. Then they don't have to deal with parking. So the experience will just be so much simpler right. about being able to schedule online, access on your, your schedule, convenient to you, in a way that works for your needs. And then they'll go. And then they might <laughs> they actually, actually go. go. Um, and so there's also virtual care possibilities where there are um, phone chats, other mm -hmm. ways that you can get some help without maybe necessarily having to show up at the office. So I like to think of it about providing layers. Right, so, so you're right. So we talk about convenience, access, and cost, right? So we're gonna provide virtual opportunities so people can use mm -hmm. their cell phones and their iPads and their computers to see a provider if they need to. Right. But that's the most limited subset of care that you get and the most um, kind of constrained. But then we have the next layer, which would be the urgent care platform. So we have a lot of indigos that have popped up around here. Mm -hmm. That's short for individuals on the go. Right. So the whole idea. You've got something in a hurry, but you can't get in to see your doctor, and it's not an ER thing. So mm -hmm. that's correct. Urgent care. So the design is 
30 minutes in and out. You see one person who walks you through the visit, very convenient uh, and designed to be quick and efficient, but it's a limited menu of services as well. Mm -hmm. So then we have our traditional platforms, right? Just our regular whole network of both primary care doctors and specialists who are also available and we're gonna work to make those access points more accessible in peak care. So where is this happening right now? Where is this going to occur? It's happening in Pierce County, Pierce County. Are serving you gonna... employers who are predominantly have their employee, ba employee base in Pierce County. Are you going to expand? There'll be time Come ahead. on over to King County. Yeah, we have a great partner in MultiCare. We're going to continually look at opportunities to expand. MultiCare's footprint is statewide. We think it makes a lot of sense to start in Pierce County. Yeah. The health care needs of that community are quite significant, and we think we can really make a difference in that community. And it's small enough for us to test and learn. We're going to bring customers to the table to help inform us when we make Good. improvements about how to make this better. So better to start small right now and then look to expand later. Great innovation. Thank you all. Thank you both for coming Thanks, in Margaret. and explaining this to us. For more information about Peak Care, Primera Blue Cross and MultiCare's partnership in Pierce County, or about other services, please visit the website there on your screen. We'll have that on our website as well. Up next, some tips to keep your information and your computers safe from hackers, scams, and viruses through the holidays. Back after this.